What's going on, everybody? I'm Harrison Graham. And I'm Chase Sr. We launched a brand new show just a couple of weeks ago here at Chat Sports, and it's called Any Given Thursday. We go live every single Thursday, 5 o'clock Eastern, 2 o'clock Pacific. So the video that you're about to watch aired live on that show. Make sure you subscribe and join us on our main Chat Sports YouTube channel. It's time to make our NFL Picks of the Week here on Any Given Thursday. Appreciate you guys rolling with us, Harrison Graham and Chase Sr. If you like the show, join us every Thursday live, 5 o'clock Eastern, 4 o'clock Central, here on YouTube.com slash ChatSportsTV. Okay, let's break down the Chat Sports standings through two weeks. I can't believe Thomas Mott is pacing us right now at 6-3-1. and one. We got a few guys at 6-4, and four. Matthew Peterson, Marshall Green, and Tom Downey. Mitchell Renz, Jack Lottere, Jeremy Beedling, and R.C. Maxfield at 5-5. Five and five. Boss man James Yoder, your four and six chase as well. So is producer Sam Brown. And then it's the bottom of the barrel. Brett Scott and Trace Gerard at three and seven. Jeffrey Cooperstein at two and eight. And oh my God, it's a bloodbath. I'm 0 and 10. No. We're bouncing back though. 0 and 10. Can't get much worse. I'm 12 and six in college. So you guys call me out. Take, it, take advantage nice of my call. Nice bend there, like an edge rusher at the Ugh. NFL Combine. I can bend. I'll tell you what, man. I can bend, but I'm breaking on all my picks. 0-10, oh so uh, we're going 5-0 and oh this week. Let's get on the board. Here are my picks uh, for this upcoming week. Or are we going to Chase first? I'm, I'm confused. All right, we're doing this first. My producer's surprising me. They, they're laughing at us, Chase, because we both went 0-5 oh last week. At least I'm 4-6. and six. But our jobs are on the line, according yes. to our boss. If yes. we go 0-5 again, we we're going to get fired. So type LOL in the comment section right now to laugh at us for that reason because we might be unemployed next yeah. week and, and, at this you time. Know, I, I just can't afford that right now. So LOL in the chat to make fun of us. We both went 0-5, but we're bouncing back starting right now. Okay, here are my picks this week. Fade Graham. I'm feeling confident. <laughs> I'm feeling confident. Titans minus five against the Colts. That line has moved to minus six. I don't think Carson Wentz plays. Jacob Eason has been so bad in practice that Brett Hunley has gotten most of the first team reps this week. That's a disaster for Indianapolis. I love the Titans at home minus five. They had a nice win against Seattle last week. Over in the Falcons-Giants game. These teams stink defensively. But they actually both can score the ball pretty well. I think this over hits in this one. Bears plus seven at Cleveland. I don't know. The, the Browns are banged up. Jarvis Landry is out. OBJ is questionable. We see if he ends up playing. Baker Mayfield has a left shoulder problem. And that Browns secondary can get challenged. Justin Field starting for the Bears. I think you'll see Chicago take some vertical shots downfield. Give me the Bears. Seven-point underdogs in Cleveland. By the way, Chase, Justin Fields never lost a game in the state of Ohio during wow. his college career. Steelers minus three against the Bengals at home. I don't like Big Ben but I trust a source on this one. I'm going Steelers minus three. The, uh, the big wids, the bookies, they like the Steelers in this one. Cincinnati was brutal last week against the Bears. Joe Burrow threw three picks. That Steelers defense is still nasty. It's at home. I'll take Pittsburgh. And then basically a pick em one. This feels like it might be a trap bet, but Seattle blew a game last week to Tennessee chase. Seahawks minus one at Minnesota. I get the Vikings are desperate, but... Seattle should be as well. They can't fall behind in the NFC West. No. I like Seattle minus one, even though it's on the road. I think they take care of business against Minnesota. Those are my picks. We're going 5-0. and oh. Let's see what Chase has this week. I'm in a much better spot than Harrison Graham and Tom <laughs> Downey's burner account in the comment section right now with a $5 super chat saying, to the viewers who gamble, do the opposite of Harrison and enjoy your winning. So basically <laughs> go against Harrison wow. and fade him. Now, week one, I went 4-1. and one. I was cooking. I was very confident going into week two because I went five and two in college on Saturday. Then I went over, but I lost three games by a combined like four points. So I learned the hard way that betting is very, very hard. Of course, as a degenerate, I simply know that I'm going with the Seahawks <laughs> minus one at Minnesota. I know the Vikings are winless, but this line is fishy. There's no question about it. I just don't see Russell Wilson going down to Mike Zimmer's bad defense and the Vikings and the Seahawks are coming off a sour loss last week when the Titans came back. I think Seattle rolls in this game because I think they could be players in the NFC picture. 
I had to go with an underdog because you see I have a lot of favorites here because I like these lines and I elected to go with the Washington football team plus seven and a half against Buffalo. So Buffalo starts the season with a bad loss against Pittsburgh. Yeah. They blew out Miami last week, but the Dolphins turned the football over four times all in their own territory, which paved way for Buffalo to be able to just punch the football in the end zone and score some easy points. So I like Washington with that great defensive line to cover the seven and a half. John Giants minus three against Atlanta. I'm doing this for my guy, Marshall Green. <laughs> he called me a Philly fraud. I'm calling him a New York fraud, but I'm still going with his Giants. They need a win desperately. Both yes. of these two teams are 0-2. I just think New York is much better, so I think they win by four plus. Ravens against the Lions. Working off the momentum of that comeback victory in primetime against the Kansas City Chiefs. The biggest regular season win for Lamar Jackson and John Harbaugh. I think that momentum continues against a bad Lions team. They've been susceptible of giving up large chunks of yards on the ground. That's the Ravens forte. And lastly, Sunday night football, Packers three and a half point favorites against Green Bay. It's going to be a rematch of the 2019 NFC Championship game. The first home game in Santa Clara at Levi's Stadium in front of a crowd since 2019 because be those California rules are certainly wacky with COVID and they didn't have fans last year. And under Matt LaFleur, the Packers have been awful, and I mean awful, against physical teams. And I think that is the Niners' bread and butter. They're physical at the lines, and I think they take over the game at the line of scrimmage, especially defensively with Eric Armstead, who's second in the league in pressure rate. Nick Bosa coming off that torn ACL already has three sacks on the season. The interior of that defensive line is really good as well. So I think San Francisco blows out the Packers. So we'll go rapid fire through the rest of the staff's picks as well. That's some deep analysis on Chase and my pick. We're bouncing back. We're going 5-0. and oh. Let us know, though, because we could use some extra cash. Who's your lock of the week? I'm trying to make up money this week. Let us know down in the comments your lock of the week betting in the NFL. And if you want to make some money, if you're confident about your pick this week, go to BetUS. Type the link down below in a separate uh, tab right now, chatsports.com slash bet. Plug in the promo code chat125. You put down 100 bucks, they're going to give you 125 for free for you new BetUS customers. And if you are a new BetUS customer, after you deposit 100 bucks, when you go to chatsports.com slash bet, place a bet on any game for any amount. You can just throw five bucks on your favorite team. No big deal if you win or lose because we're going to hook you guys up with a brand new jersey from your favorite team. All you got to do is email us, jersey at chatsports.com. We'll get your size. We'll confirm your account has gotten going with BetUS. Once we confirm that, We'll get your address as well. We'll email you or we'll uh, send you guys a brand new NFL jersey. So email us, jersey at chatsports.com. After you follow the steps, which I'll repeat one more time, go to chatsports.com slash bet. Use the promo code chat125. Put down 100 bucks, you'll get the 125 for free. And then place a bet on any game for any amount. Uh, and then email us, jersey at chatsports.com. All right, producer Sam Brown. We've got the producer camera set up. Sam? You're four and six. You're a degenerate gambler in the office. How oh, yeah. are you feeling this week? Um, I feel good. I feel good about these picks that I've got right now and probably a couple more that I'll throw on the side. Uh, <laughs> Me too. Patriots, <laughs> Patriots minus three. I've no, I haven't been a huge believer in the Saints this season, so uh, I like the Patriots at home. Uh, I'm with Harrison on the over in uh, Falcons, uh -oh. Giants, 47 and a half. Basically the same reason you said. They're not great on defense. They can both score decently well. Uh, Seahawks, Vikings. I feel like the wow, spread right there out. is a trap game, but man, both those teams can't play defense worth a damn either. So there are going to be lots of points in that one. I'm actually flipping uh, Chase's Washington plus seven and a half. I'm going to go Bills okay. minus seven and a half on that one. Uh, I think they keep keep picking up their stride, keep finding their momentum, and then finally. I'm not saying I'm betting this because I don't bet unders, Ooh. but I'm in a I spot where are. I want to – listen, I want to win. <laughs> I want to win this, this league. I want to you know, wind down with the best record. I think this under is going to hit in Rams, Bucks. Again, I'm not going to bet it. That's soft. I don't bet <laughs> unders. But I'm saying that I think this one's got a pretty good chance at hitting. I think the over is high for two teams that have really good defense. 
All right, so there you have it for I producer like the analysis Sam there, Brown. Sammy. Uh, the guy's been hitting the book since he was 12. I mean, I just, <laughs> it, tr trust me, like he's uh, uh, w which was last year, by the way. He's only third. Uh, kidding, kidding. Uh, he's at least 15. So those were his picks of the week. We'll go rapid fire here. Uh, let's uh, we'll go through Thomas Motts. Chase and I will alternate here. Eagles plus four against Dallas. I'm sure there's no bias there. Philly Dallas under 52. He's got the Patriots minus three against the Saints. Uh, Falcons plus three against the Giants. I just uh, the spread in that game. I don't know. And then over 45 and a half in Buffalo Washington. I could see that because Heine Heineke can sling it and Buffalo we know can score as well. Uh, let's see what Matthew Peterson has. The trivia master Matthew Peterson. He's six and four. <laughs> he likes the Titans minus five against the Colts. Raiders minus four against the Dolphins. I'm actually going to go against that. Broncos minus ten and a half against the Jets. That's a fat line. He likes the over for the Baltimore Detroit game at 50 and the under for Washington Buffalo. Our boy Marshall Green, hashtag Money Marsh. He's rolling with me with the Seahawks, minus one against the Vikings. He got his G-men, minus three against the Falcons. That is an elimination game in the NFL. The loser of that game, get ready for the NFL draft. Raiders, minus four against the Dolphins. Uh, Ravens, minus seven and a half against Detroit. He got it at seven and a half. And then the Steelers at minus three against the Cincinnati Bengals. I like that one as well. Tom Downey, popular pick in the office. Titans minus five against the Colts. I don't think Carson Wentz is going to play as we record this during our live show on Thursday. Bills minus seven and a half against Washington, so he's on the opposite side of me and with Sam Brown. It's not a good sign for them. Falcons <laughs> plus three against the Giants. Rams, basically a pick em, but now they're one-point underdogs. I think that line is going to fluctuate leading up to Sunday. And then Cowboys minus four against the Eagles. Let's go to Mitchell Renz, who's batting 500. He's 5-5. Five and five. He likes the under in this Saints-Pats game, uh, just a slugfest up in New England. Uh, the over in the Chargers-Chiefs uh, game, uh, the Chiefs defense has struggled. Washington, he got it at plus 9. Uh, we were debating that in the office. Uh, I don't know what sports books he's using. Bet you has. Yeah, you can get a much better number there. Seahawks minus 1 at Minnesota, and then the Raiders minus 4 against the Miami Dolphins. Uh, so those are Mitch's picks of the week. Got a few more to break down, but hey, if you enjoy us breaking down our picks every week, if you just like laughing at me because I can't win a damn game in the NFL, then subscribe. Join us every Thursday, 5 o'clock Eastern, 4 o'clock Central Time. We go live for any given Thursday, every Thursday, here on YouTube.com slash TV. It's a brand new show here at Chat Sports, Episode 3, ongoing today. Let's help this show grow. Let's have some fun. Harrison, Graham, Chase Sr., we're fired up for this opportunity. All right, what does producer Jack have, Chase? Pretty impressive because before he came here a couple months ago, he had never bet on a football game before, and he's 5-5. Five and five. What does that say about Harrison Graham? I don't know. Patriots minus three against the Saints. Bucks minus one Club against the Rams. Raiders minus four against the Dolphins. Uh, Steelers three-point favorites against the Bengals. And then he likes the over for Chargers KC. I could totally see that being a shootout. Uh, yeah, so those are uh, Jack Lauderay's picks. Uh, who else we got going here? We got a few more five and five folks. Uh, Jeremy uh, Chugs, as we call him. Again, Titans minus five. Saints plus three. Steelers minus three. Seahawks minus one. And then uh, Sunday Night Football. He's going with the Packers plus three and a half on Sunday Night Football over San Francisco. RC Maxfield, an even five and five. The over for Cardinals Jaguars at 52. I actually think Trevor Lawrence has played decent football so far this year. Steelers, three point favorites against Cincinnati. Vikings getting one at home. I like Seattle as well. So too does RC. The over for Chargers, KC, that seems to be a popular pick for sharp betters as well. Packers, San Francisco over 50. I could see that going either way though. So a lot of folks at five and five, uh, I am not, I'm 0 and 10. Who at the Jet Sports <laughs> will end the season with the best record? If I win this, I should get some kind of medal because I am deep in the hole right now. I'm only six games back though. That's the good thing. There's still time to make it up, but uh, who will win with the best record at the end of the season here at Chat Sports? Uh, let us know down in the comments. All right, we get to the below 500 folks now. Uh, Yodes picks here. Broncos minus 10.5. Dolphins plus 4. Falcons plus 3 at the Giants. The under in the Philly-Dallas game and then the under in the Packers-Niners game as well. Brett Scott, he just left, so I can kind of body bag him for his 3-7 and seven <laughs> record. Cardinals 7.5 point favorites uh, at Jacksonville. Bengals getting three against Pittsburgh. I actually don't like that at all. I think the Steelers do bounce back. Some health questions with Big Ben. Rams, uh, he likes them over the Bucks at plus one. The over for 
the Falcons and Giants. A few of us have done that. Yeah, we'll see about that. And then Cowboys <laughs> four point favorites against the Eagles in that NFC East divisional rivalry. Trace game. Gerard also three and seven. He's running community in the live chat today. Shout out to him. Uh, Cardinals minus seven and a half. He's going with the Steelers minus three. He likes the Ravens minus seven and a half as well. The over in the Bears Browns game. I could see that. 43 and a half is pretty damn low. Uh, and then yeah. the Falcons plus three against the New York Giants. Those are executive producer Trace's picks. Let's go to Mini Coop, Jeffrey Cooperstein. Chase. All right, to the Coop Cup. Titans minus five against the Colts. Washington plus seven and a half against Buffalo. The over for Atlanta, New York. That is a really popular pick across the office. The, he the actually Falcons is. Falcons can't stop anybody. No, at all, nor can the Giants. Yeah. Eagles getting four against Dallas. I just don't think they're ready for prime time yet. And then Packers. Uh, he's taking the opposite stance of me, which means he's going to lose. So we will <laughs> see what happens. Uh, those are all of our picks here in week three. You can always DM Chase and I if you have any uh, suggestions or if you want some betting advice or if you don't know how to get going with BetUS or if you're like, hey, remind me how to do the jersey deal, DM us. We'll hook you guys up. Remember, jersey at chatsports.com. That is the place to email once you follow these steps with BetUS. So appreciate it. Chase and I will be back next week updating uh, heading into week four.